Uh, confusion and fear are widespread in Greece this Saturday, less than 24 hours away from a snap referendum on the country's bailout situation. The only thing all sides agree on is that the outcome is likely to determine not only Greece but also Europe's future. In what way, though, remains unclear. While the anti-austerity government is pushing voters to resist what it calls fear-mongering and bullying tactics from its creditors, EU officials insist that voting no will lead to an unavoidable Grexit. And to tell us more about this, we can cross now to our European affairs editor, Christophe Robet, who's following developments for us in Athens. Christophe, hello, thank you for being with us. And you're joined by a member of the Syriza government. Absolutely. I'm joined here in Athens by a leading member of the anti-austerity uh, syriza led government of Alexis Tsipras. Georgos Katrugalos is a minister in charge of administrative reform. Mr. Katrugalos, thank you very much for being with us. Now, Jean-Claude Juncker, the president of the European Commission, says that the prime minister has lied to his people. He says that a fair deal was within reach. And by allowing a referendum, the prime minister has actually sent shockwaves through the markets. Is it worth all the pain? Well, uh, elites in Europe have an, an allergy towards referenda and because they don't want the people to speak in issues that are of vital interest to them. I believe that the, the Greek referendum, it is not just about Greece. If it was, you could not be here. It's about two opposing visions of Europe, a social one and a neoliberal one. It, it is true that we are very close uh, to uh, an agreement, exactly because we have made a lot of compromises in fiscal issues. We wanted, in addition to that, some kind of debt relief. But I think the basic reason that our proposals have been rejected is exactly because we are a problem as a government of the left for many political circles in Europe. I think that the real reason for uh, rejecting our proposal was that they want to get rid of the only left government in Europe that could represent an alternative to the prevailing orthodoxy. Meanwhile, leading EU officials as well as leaders of the mainstream opposition parties here in Greece uh, insist that a no vote would logically force Greece to leave the Eurozone. Mr Tsipras does not agree with that. Who's right? Who's telling the truth? Well, this is part of a uh, psychological blackmail exerted to our people. How is it possible to leave uh, the Eurozone. There is not any kind of institutional provision in the treaties for that. And who would like to get rid of Greece? Our partners? Why to do that? The European project, project is supposed to be irreversible. Us? No. We have said clearly that we want no, not for leaving Euro, not for leaving even the table of negotiations. We want a strong no, exactly in order to strengthen our negotiating position. Go back to the table and ask for a better deal a fair and equitable compromise. What would happen if the Greek people don't follow Mr Tsipras and vote yes? Uh, the finance minister, Mr Varoufakis, has already said that he would resign. Would Mr Tsipras also resign? Would you resign as minister in charge of administrative reform? I fully understand why Mr Varoufakis uh, would resign. He cannot put his signature below a text that he considers to be extremely bad for our economy and our society. With regard to the government, it is up to Prime Minister to speak. My personal opinion is that we have a mandate not just to handle the European perspectives of our country, but also to break with the system of oligarchs. So I don't think that uh, giving away the power to them would be a good idea for the people of Greece. And my last question, what is your feeling? Will the people of Greece follow Mr Tsipras and vote no in the referendum tomorrow night? I think that uh, the people of Greece has understood that, uh, after all, this is an issue of democracy. It is not just an issue of economics. And even people that are going to vote yes because they have been afraid under this climate of fear and terror, still they understand that the Greek government is fighting for their interests. So whatever the result, we are going to have a united people. This is the more important for us. And united in order to promote our interests for a Greece in a social Europe. Mr. Katrugalos, thank you very much for talking to us. And of course, we'll be live from Athens. We'll follow the referendum throughout the weekend. The first exit polls will be released uh, around 6 o'clock Paris time. We'll have a special program. And then later throughout the evening, we'll bring you the first final results. That's all from us here in Athens. Christophe